Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Sally Face Episode 5, the long-anticipated finale to the series. Now, before we get started, I just have to port, uh, port, port forth. I just have to put forth a disclaimer that due to some super boring file corruption problems I was having when recording this video, uh, most of the video is without face cam. So enjoy the video. Too late. You already clicked it. You have to watch it. You're you're in too deep now. You, you gotta watch it. You gotta you, no take backs. Hey John, why haven't you played episode two yet of Sally Face? Are you holding out on us? I can't believe it. It's been 375 days since John uploaded Sally Face. He says he cares about his fans. So why does he keep holding out on us? Episode four? Where's episode five? I have been waiting for Sally Face episode five for an entire year. Where is Sally Face episode five, John? John, I've been checking your channel. You have not posted Sally Face episode five yet. Wait a minute. It's been like five years. Where's Sally Face chapter five? John! It's been about a year now. I know you holding out on us. Mal? John, where is that episode 5 of Sally Face? Look man, I can't keep watching this crap on repeat. John, I'm getting sick and tired of this. It's been 12 months. And I know it's been 373 days since you last posted. You know that uh, Sally Face episode, it's been out for a couple minutes now. Why haven't you played Sally Face episode 5 yet, John? My fellow guys, I think it's pointless. We're never gonna see episode five at this rate. John, you can't post that Sally Face video. It's how they get their power. Don't ask me how I know. John, where's Sally Face episode five? I don't know, man. I'll ask him right now. All right, all right, yeah, I'll ask him. John. Hey, John, where's Sally Face episode five? Looking for this trash to find episode five now. Hey, John, it's guys. Hey, guys, it's guys. Hey, John, it's guys. Hey, John. Where's Sally Face Episode 5 at? Where is Sally Face Episode 5? We know you have it. How about another joke, John? Um, John? Hey, John. I was wondering, where's Sally Face Episode 5? It's been out for a while now, and we still don't have a video. John, do you want to explain why you haven't played Sally Face Episode 5 yet? Where's the five? John, if that's what you call yourself. John, I've just run home through the wettest weather on the planet to see Sally Face episode five. Where is it? What happened to Sally Face episode five? Are you holding out on us? Are you holding out on us? Why are you holding out on us, John? Oh my. You're holding out on us. Hey, John. Where is Cellface episode 5? Are you holding out on us? What is Cellface? Shut up. Are you holding out on us? <laughs> uh. Are you holding out on us? Are you holding out on us? Fuck, there she is. <laughs> hey John, uh, notice that you played Sally Face on the 11th. You know, I was just wondering, are you, are you holding out on us, John? What's your favorite episode of Sally Face, John? Is it episode 5? Where is it? You know, I left you a couple comments in the comments section about episode 5 of Sally Face and when that was gonna come out and you, you haven't responded so I have every reason to believe that you don't care about your fans. Where's episode 5, John? Are you holding out on us? Seriously? This is so lazy, so unprofessional. It's over a year. Hey John, it's Guys. I was just watching your 2016 playthrough of Sally Face episode 1 Strange Neighbors for the 157th time because I can't sleep thinking that you're holding out on us. Where's episode 5, John? Hey John, it's Guys. I'm just wondering where Sally Face episode 5 is. Are you holding out on us, John? Are you holding out on us? Where's the Sally Face video, Jonathan? Hey John, it's Guys. Where's Sally Face episode 5? Are you holding out on us? Hey John, question. Uh, where is Sally Face episode five? Hey John, where's Sally Face part five? Oh, hello John. 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 Hey John. 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 Hey John. 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 It's guys. It's guys. It's guys. It's guys. Guys. Where's Sally Face episode five? Sally Face episode five. 
Sally face. Sally face. Sally face. Shadow face. Sally face. Sally face. Episode five. Episode five. Episode five. Hate on. Where is Sally face? Episode five. Are you holding out? Us. My nose is going to be so single. Sally face. Where is Sally Face episode number five? Sally Face episode five. Where's Sally Face episode five, man. Who's episode five of Sally Face, John? Are you are you holding, holding out, out on us? us? You are majorly holding out on us. Are you perhaps holding out on us? Are you holding out on us? Are you? Are you holding out on us? Like what up? Are you holding out on us? Are you holding oh out God. on us, John? You've been holding out on us. Are you holding, holding out, out on us? us? Are you holding out on us? Do you hate us? Are you holding out? Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to the final episode of Sally Face, episode 5. We've been waiting for 375 days, as you guys said, 373 days. I don't know, you guys actually kept track of it better than I did. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who submitted a video for the montage in the intro. I'm sorry I couldn't fit everyone into it, I really tried. There were just so many videos that were submitted, but uh, thank you everybody who who took the time to make one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this. Continue. I assume this will pop us right back in. Oh, okay, wait, we gotta redo the last part of the episode. If you forgot what happened, I don't blame you. Here's Ashley going to confront <laughs> the people at the courthouse with the photo of the ghost she took, hoping that will absolve Sally of all wrongdoing. That's right, Sally dies. Ah, uh, and that's how episode four ended, with the time of death. Sal. Oh god. No. Where can things possibly go from here? Here we are at the graveyard. I assume this is some time later. <laughs> and not immediately afterward. Loving wife to Herman Sanderson. Oh. Mrs. Sanderson and Mr. Sanderson. That was their accomplishment in life. They, they were married to each other. Rot in pieces. Hmm. Okay, Robert Silva. Ray and Janice's shared grave. Even death can keep these two apart. Ah, Chug. This is everybody from the apartment complex. Son, husband, father, friend. Hey, Chug. Miss you, dude. Soda. Oh, right. The kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Larry. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson. Hmm. They never did find Larry's body. Mother of Larry Johnson. Lisa was always so nice to me. She treated me like family. Husband of Lisa John Fisher. Father to Sal Fisher. Can't imagine how much this hurts Sal. Right? Wonder who's buried here. Son of Harry, Henry and Diane Fisher. Wait, how old was that? 28? I wish you were here, Sal. So sad. Is Sal really dead? I assume yes. Who put the mask there? Sorry, I haven't visited in a few nights. <coughs> Poorly timed sneeze during the overly sentimental cutscene. <laughs> Things have gotten worse. So now we're playing as Ashley in this episode, just like I thought we were going to. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. Right, Todd, he's been possessed by the darkness. He's got to be under that darn church. It's the one place we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your army friend? I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. How would, how would you know that? You've been spying on them? Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. We're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I, but if we do get caught, then yeah, we take him down with us. I'm ready. Good, at least one of us is. 
Well, actually, probably one of the reasons that you're not ready is because you haven't changed clothes in about three years. Have you fed Maple yet? Oh, the cat! I tried, she's still not eating. I'll see if I have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. I don't think I need a hand feeding the cat. Did you bring the new package to the shed? Yup, you think you found a connection with Todd's work? I think it's something big. A missing piece I've been wondering about. I hope you're right. We're about due for some good luck. Oh, uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Neil. Wow, right. Cultist notes. Todd, he's been infected by the dark. Right, 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 right. I don't know if I'm gonna read all this, but... Mysterious mailer. I forgot about the letters. A cultist insider providing helpful intel, but who is it? We really don't know that much about the cult from, from what I remember. It's been a year since episode four, so my memory's kind of fuzzy, but I don't think we know a whole lot. We still don't know the answers to these questions. We wouldn't have gotten this far without their assistance. They provided us with details about cult operations and locations, albeit in vague, quickly scribbled notes. The Phelps Ministry, right? That church. The church is the entry point for the main temple of the Devourers. After the mysterious destruction of the Addison Temple, the Phelps Temple was heavily guarded for a while. Eventually, the security loosened up. It's our suspicion that this is due to the cult having indoctrinated the majority, if not all, of the local government leaders. We have to be careful of who we trust. Sheesh, dude. Let's go. Dead plant. Neil's not taking care of it. Sal's room. Hmm. <laughs> Wednesday Adams over there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Gizmo. Wait, who's Maple then? <laughs> Hi, Gizmo. You need anything? He hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. Also, you're thinking to Sally right now? Hey, there's my neighbor Totoro! In the background. Not my favorite Miyazaki film, but... It's an interesting one. Let's go to the basement. Wow, I forgot entirely who Maple is. Oh! Hey, Maple, how are you today? Neil and I are gonna get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you. At least until we can figure out a better solution. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> it sounds like he doesn't really have a choice. I've got around to the shed real quick, but when I get back in, we'll get you some nice warm soup. Okay. Well. Hey, look. The stickers are still here from last time, but they're faded. Wow. Oh my gosh. Itchy tasty. Okay, so yeah. Maple, uh, you know, isn't doing so hot. It's been months. Let's go out to the shed, which is this way, I think. Uh, what's the code? That's not it. All right, it's... Oh, you just know it. Cool. <laughs> you just know it. That is helpful. The final prophecy of Sitlati Sitlali Gray? The blue flame, not extinguished, still flickers in the night. He that sees between worlds, child of the abomination, wielding light beyond man, pierces through the endless black, betrayer of a kind, Resurrected by a Sintma, his sword, blood of man, rises to protect the great atrocity and prevent the triumph of humankind. Very intense, Todd. Let's see. Sitlali, a Native American seer, originally unknown, uh, previous council member of the Devourers of God, possibly of the original formation. A Sintma is referring to a collection of three pyramids. I have obtained one of them and have been searching for the other two. I'm not sure exactly who the child of the abomination is, but if they're not an enemy of the occult, then they could be a much needed ally. Maybe they're the person that's been sending us notes in the mail, bro. Grab the package. Yeah. Is, would there be a reason that we wouldn't want to do it yet? We got these weird pyramid things in the mail. Another package from our mysterious cultist insider. Todd had a third pyramid in the shed. In his notes, he said he found it in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are several mentions of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. He was actively looking for the other two. 
Well, there they are. I think they might be linked to you somehow. That's a hell of a hunch. No matter how I turn these, nothing happens. I thought something would happen this time. Sal, there's something else I need to tell you. I... I've always loved you. No? Okay, we're having a flashback. Right, our conversation with Larry after the photograph. Post-photograph conversation. The replacements were sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's hard to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So, you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I've pieced together what I could find about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. Oh, maybe Sal's the child of destruction. That'd make a lot more sense. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally Face would do great things. Don't give up on him, Ash. You have to find him. I won't. Ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free from this fucking tray house, I'll help you find them. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Oh, I didn't even see the gas. Trust me, it can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore. Or, you know, not live, but whatever. I can't stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like, dude. It's torture. I can feel it changing me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will dissolve into the darkness. We don't know that for sure, and even so, the nothingness will be better than existing like this. Please, Ash, you have to save me. If I do this, you have to promise me that you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> A promise, dude. Well, hopefully he doesn't. I feel like we've been through the ringer enough with this game that losing Larry to the eternal darkness would kind of push us over the edge. I went back to the burnt tree every night for weeks. He's just gone. I don't think it's the last we've heard of Larry. I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw up in a long list of my failures. Wow, Ash, taking it hard. This morning, I went over to Neil's place, but... But what? No. Hello? Neil? You home? I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like this. I grabbed the C4 from Neil's bag since we were supposed to go to the temple that night. We were supposed to go? We were supposed to go to the temple? What does that mean, Ashley? Phrasing. The Legend of the Greys. The Grey family is a tribe of Native Americans, but there aren't many historical records of them. Uh, wow, okay, this is a lot to read. Okay, this history of the Grey family is crazy. So apparently the Grey family was brought into existence from an owl having sex with a man in the woods, and then eventually a beautiful young woman erupted from inside the man, alien style, I guess, and then a nearby pack of wolves ate the man that the woman came out of that got <laughs> screwed by the owl. <laughs> that poor guy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so then the pack of wolves followed the woman that came out of the man, and then the pack became human, and now they're the Grey Tribe. The descendants are said to have psychic abilities. Strange. Let's read about the slaughtering of children, shall we? August 16th, 1984. 255 children and 32 adults were murdered across North America. However, surprisingly, it didn't make many headlines. The story was covered here and there, but not by any major news outlet. It is now my understanding that the cult had something to do with this and was likely the orchestrator of the whole thing. If true, that could mean their reach extends much further than we expected. A terrifying thought. Thanks, Todd. Okay, so wait, Neil's not here. Okay. Hopefully he's just like moping in Sal's room or something like, Oh, what was me? Sal's gone forever. I don't know. I went in here. I remember taking this photo. 
It was after Larry's dad left. Larry and his mom stayed with his grandmother for a few years. They lived down the road from me. That's when we became good friends. Cool. Like, what else is in here, though? What is... What's going on here? Six sides, one dot in the middle. Am I supposed to see that? It has like a sound effect with it. Ah, uh, Crap, this isn't good. That sounded like the front door. Did Maple kill Neil? Did Neil go out in search of Maple, maybe? Maybe Neil noticed that Maple left and then he was like, I'm gonna go search. <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> For maple. Not yet. Okay. Letter. There's a letter. There's a note left on the table for me. Ash, they have maple and Neil. You need to move quickly. The temple is lightly guarded today. Sneak into the entrance I told you about before. Once you get into the main chamber, you have to act stealthily. There are four pillars with insets that hold sacred jars. If you place the explosives there, it's sure to bring the whole place down. Stick them behind the jars and they'll be safe. It's forbidden to touch those jars. Be careful and good luck. On the back of the letter was a hand-drawn map with the location of the jars. I ain't wasting any time. I went to the temple right away. Oh, okay. So wait. Who left that note? Todd? I'm still fuzzy on the story. Okay, I gotta act stealthily, right. So, we got the West Hall, and then, presumably, the East Hall, on the other side. Let's go to the East Hall first, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Without the factory, we will lose more members. Ever since the fire, his orders have been increasingly erratic. How many senators? Shh. Don't talk like that. Do you want to end up like the Packertons? Everything will work out. Just have faith, Thifter. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> the descendants will soon be upon us. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that I was supposed to be a sister there. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's just follow. Inner East Hall. Oh. Okay. Play C4. Bro, yeah. Got one. North Hall. Oh my gosh. This... We gotta really watch out. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go. We're in the North Hall. The Inner East Hall. There's a door right there. These cultists are everywhere, dude. Oh. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Okay. Oh! Oh, you can't get that. You can't get that close. Damn. All right. South Hall is where we were. What is this thing right here? Hang on. What the hell? What are these things? This is number three, apparently. Six sides, three dots. Okay, so you just gotta stay... Where, where's the line? Like, probably the pillar? I'll have to remember that. Okay. Play C4. Ba 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 da ba 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 Okay, so like, you can go here. And then that's it. Alright. That's as close as you can get. So same thing. Ooh. Move on! Sith Emperor West Hall, sure. So one in the East Hall, one in the West Hall. They'll have to stand near the entrances. These guys got nothing better to do, huh? Oh, oh. Did they ever like fake you out? Inner West Hall. 
South Hall. Okay, so this is where I was earlier. So I need to go to the inner West Hall and the inner East Hall, I think. In our West Hall. That isn't open. Yo! Get a life, man! Frickin' move on, alright? Okay. Too risky. Oh, we can't move to the center chamber. Okay, so I threw off a... Uh, that's not good. And we need a GTFO. Okay, you can't go over here. Let's go to the inner east hall now. I think that's where the last one is. Here we go. That's all of them. Now what? Dungeon? What? Ash? Oh wait, this is Neil. Neil, are you okay? I've had better days. How the heck did you get in here? I'll tell you later. Right now we gotta get you out of there. What about Maple and Todd? Have you seen them? Maple's in the next cell over. And Todd is here! I saw him when they dragged us here! They have Todd in a different room. I'm not sure where though. They knocked me on the head pretty hard. Ash, I think something big is going down really soon. Something bad. Okay. Did you see where they put the keys? <laughs> I'll get you out then we can grab Maple and Todd. One of the guards has the keys, but it's too dangerous. Even if you could somehow get it, you and I aren't going to be able to handle Maple and Todd! They're too far gone! We can do it. I know we can. I think it's time for plan B. Neil. No! <laughs> Save yourself, Ash! Someone has to live through this! I'm not leaving you guys down here. I can't lose any more friends! I don't think we have any other option. Uh, <laughs> you there! I say! Crap. Wait, I know that voice. Who are you? Oh, Travis, what the bully? The school bully? We haven't seen him since the baloney incident. Uh, I can't remember the voice I gave him. <laughs> you need to leave. If they catch you here, it won't end well. Wait a second, he sounds kind of friendly. I'm giving him an angry voice, but he's saying good things. Are you the inside man? You look horrible. Dude, what happened to you? Don't look like you give a shit about me! Just get out of here! Come on, man. You, you can help us get Maple and Todd. Let's all get out of here together. Trust me when I say it's beyond impossible. I know there's some good in you, Travis. Sal saw it too. He stood up for you when no one else would. Sal is dead, and you won't be too if you stay here any longer. Damn it. Why won't you help us? I'm... Trying to He's right Ash you should go But it's okay. I made my peace with it. I'll finally be with my Todd again No, wait Travis pretty much had to drag me out of there. I didn't want to go even though I knew they were right So Todd and Neil are both dead and I knew we planned to, and I know we planned to blow the temple up, even if we failed, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to press that button, knowing that our friends are down there. Your soft heart will be the death of you, Ash, if you're out there. Somewhere, please, Sal, I need your help. Please, you can't be gone. Please don't tell me the pyramids, like, resurrect Sally from the grave, or... Magic storm incoming. Oh, now we're starting episode five. Oh, sorry, all that was prologue. <laughs> what? It's happening again. The flashes. What am I? You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Find the chaos. Fight the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares infect your reality, Sal. Find your center. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give in to your dreams. Give in to the chaos to reach your full potential. 
It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. No. Listen to your mind. Who are you? Where am I? Uh, who are you? We are everything. And nothing. <laughs> Very informative. Thanks. Where am I? You are everywhere. And nowhere. Once again, very helpful. Have I been here before? You have always been here. I, I expected the voice from the dark to be like, you have never been here. But that would, <laughs> that would answer our question. Ugh, never mind. Freaking thanks a lot, losers. Look at this, we're all glitched out. Let's go to this house. Cool, a house in the void. Sweet. Let's see what's in there. Maybe there's some void salmon. Stardew Valley. We can make void mayonnaise out of void eggs. The dawn of mankind has triumphed over the oldest conflict. They are something from nothing. You must not allow them to be extinguished. Okay. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, that's the white room. This is feeling very Twin Peaks right now. White Lodge, Black Lodge. The struggle of mankind ripples across the cosmos as they strive to escape the dusk. Yet all things must eventually return to the shadows. Okay. <laughs> Just so you two know, and I think you know this already, I'm not getting anything out of this. Oh, shit. Uh, hello? I'm glad you remembered where I was. Do I know you? We've spoken many times, Sal. All right, are you gonna be as cryptic as the voices? Hold on. Jim? I was once, well, part of me was. I've made many sacrifices to get here, and I've lost so much along the way. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic thing, then. I'm so sorry about your family. Evelyn, Larry, Lisa. Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing the future. It was all I wanted. Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for their deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day, too. But it is the nature of life. All living things must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. I do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. It was all for nothing, though. The shadows still live and the devourers are going to call forth the plague. Their reach has grown too far. I stopped nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. You can still stop them if you wish to. In fact, you are the key to their destruction. The child of destruction. If that means anything to you now. Is this that prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. There are no chosen heroes. Only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win or lose, light or dark, good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore. But I would still like to help you if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift into parallel worlds, though it will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? It will be difficult, but I have prepared for your arrival. I built a device to help you. Your friend Ashley has gathered the device above your grave in your world. This is good. Are you the one who sent the pyramids? However, there are more components and they must be aligned across the three realities that they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Asintma are each sealed within three puzzles. You must gather them all. If you hid these pyramids of Asintma or whatever, can't you just grab them for me? That is not possible. I can no longer intervene in such matters. I have also erased the solutions from my memory. 
in case anyone tried to steal them. However, I can guide you to their locations. Okay, well, that'll save some time at least. So where do I start? There used to be a door here. Just a second. Um, there it is. You're right! You'll find your way through that door. Keep your wits about you. Cool. Let's go. So there's one, two, and three. Jim's workshop, is that where we just were? Door two, door three, door four. Let's go to door two first. All right. Whoa. I'm afraid moving isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since, well, four years now. It's an important step that I hope you'll be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of great comfort to Sal. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month after he was assigned the kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He is more than ready, Henry. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it will be good to have my son back. Can't remember what Henry used to sound like in previous episodes because it's been so freaking long. <laughs> Whoa, what? Well, this isn't what I was expecting. You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it feels pretty natural, like I've been here the whole time. Like waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling, but I am not like you. Okay, dude. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. On it! Oh my gosh, look at this cool style! Looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope that I can somehow make up for my mistakes. This is, uh, what she was saying at the grave. It just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. Hmm. 145 on the microwave. Can't leave, I have to find that pyramid! Oh, my bad. Is it in the... Todd's room is sealed shut. Huh, the plant's actually doing okay here. So wait, is it in the bathroom? I'm gonna try that first. Because I remember seeing that weird thing in there. Like right here. No. Wait, 7842! <laughs> That's funny, I didn't even mean to do that, but I turned on the hot water and it, like, steamed up the mirror. Ah, Alternate, like, animated versions. Neato. Okay, we get you like metal, Sally. I'm right there with you, I'm a metalhead myself, but we got... We gotta keep moving. What's this? What are these things? It's different colors this time. They're not blue circles, they're black circles. Bro. Are they just collectibles? Because we don't collect them, we just look at them. Oh, what the hell? We want them all to be... Okay. So this one also moves this one to the right. What does this one do? That one moves that one to the right. Oh, this should be easy then. Hang on. Okay, wait. So, it's like this. Right? Did they do it? Yeah, it's easy! Oh. Seven, eight, four, two. Hang on. Wait, wasn't it 7842? No? Oh! 5023. 5023. Wait, but then why? There's two plus signs on the top. Ah, wait. Wait, wait, hang on. No, no, I don't want to do this. Hang on. There was also 145 on the microwave, which I noticed earlier. 
So like 145 plus 5023 plus 7842, is that it? Yeah, so all together, 7842, 5023, 145, that's 13,010. So, let's try that. Boom, math skills. You know, I remember somebody saying in one of my Rusty Blake videos that I couldn't do math. Well, I can do simple addition. So, checkmate. What's happening? Oh, I got one of the pyramids. Oh, cool. Sal? Owned. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to be petty and say owned on that person that doesn't watch me anymore, probably. That isn't definitely not watching this. Okay, let's just go straight to... Sal's grave. Sal? Is that you? It's... Me! <laughs> you sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There's so many things I want to tell you. Look, one of the pyramids is lit up. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. Oh shit. Okay, what am I supposed to... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't have to... Mm. I shouldn't have to do this. Okay. These symbols are some kind of code, but what are they? Three pyramids of a Sintma. So what am I what am I doing here? Like what am I am I just pressing them in? Place. Don't I need all three of them though? So this one's north. Oh wait. Is that not it? I pressed them in order that it says north right there. Huh? Oh, I no, I did it right. I did it, I just had to hit place, okay. I was like, I can't, I literally have no idea what else it could be other than that. You did it, Ash. Oh, back here again. Well, on to the next one. This is fun. Let's go, let's do it. I need to talk to you, Jim. All right, you, you're not that conversational to begin with. Let's see what door three is like. Bruh. It's gonna be a bruh moment, that's for sure. Oh, angry car ride with chalk. Dad, when will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? God damn it, Sal, can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. Chill, Henry. Wow. It's a kid. Does he blame Sally for her death? What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. The dog man? I chose the pink one because it's mom's favorite color. I hope she'll recognize me with it on. Okay, so we knew something traumatic happened. What? I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods, searching for some evidence that this was real, that I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. <laughs> that makes sense. Though I had to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Oh, wow. It's 3D controls, not tank. Thank God. That was my- I was a little paranoid. When I first walked in, I was like, is this gonna be tank controls? Can I run? What's this? Merry Christmas! So I found one, two, three, and four so far of these things, but I don't understand. It, uh, there must be colors associated with them? Like, the colors have to be significant somehow. But I'm not sure what they mean, you know? 
Hmm. At least we found it. Let's check the other corner now and see if there's anything there. It looks like there's... Wait, wait. It looks like there's something up here. Where are these things? Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, freaking brother, dude. Okay. And there's something over here. There's a tile. Let's go get it. Wait. Oh, is it just a memory thing? Like I gotta go over there and three whites, three blacks. Kind of a yin yang type of pattern. But what does that mean? Does this only have two rows of three? It does. Well, that's... So what if we... Oh, okay. Oh. Neato. So there's gotta be another one. There's gotta be another one that's like uh, the one on the left. Okay, and it'll probably be like an inverse of the last one, right? Or, or maybe that is gonna help solve this. No, I don't think I can just look at this one. No. Okay, well, where are the other ones? Oh, here, here we go. Here, look. So... It's... There we go. It's, it's, it's like the exact opposite of the last one that we did. So that was pretty easy. I'm liking the puzzle so far. Got it together. Oh... Okay, wait. So the center one also turns the left one. The left one turns the right one. The right one turns the center one. Okay. So in that case... Oh, this should... Oh. Oh, easy. Oh, who's a genius? Who's a genius? I'm not that smart. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really happy that I got it so quickly. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Okay, so... West, of course it's longer each time. Uh, let's see. That. 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 Scintillating commentary, I know. Just absolutely riveting stuff that I'm saying, right? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now we're back. Upstairs. I don't need to talk to you, Jim. I don't have anything to say to you, Jim. Alright, we've been through door two and three. Now door four, the final one. For the third pyramid. And then what? <laughs> we revive Sal, or...? What's the art style gonna be like here? Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun! You'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends! But what if they don't like me? That's impossible! You're the coolest guy I ever met! Me? Of course! I don't want to leave you, Mommy. <laughs> you don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take care of you, and I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. Wow. Aw. Uh, Mom had no flaws. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Sally Face Tim Burton edition. Is this the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa, was that a joke from Mr. Serious? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go find the last pyramid. Godspeed. Okay, Jim. I know, oh, see, the game was like, ooh, why don't you go into the cave? But then we wouldn't have seen this thing, which I don't, I still don't understand why we're fi like how we're finding these things. So I found one, two, three, four, and six. I have not found five yet. Although I'm not sure what that means, if anything. Okay. Hello? 
Whoa, back off, dude. I'm, I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So, what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher? Besides sneaking up on people. I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockfell before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather's recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks, my grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that our ancestors made all of these paintings. He said they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Okay, have you seen a small metal pyramid around though? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost. Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that around here. Sorry. What about some turny hexagons? You're just out here with a mask on looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? It's a prosthetic. Well, sorry I couldn't be more help with your geometry. Someone's got an attitude. I guess I'll go look for it myself. Okay. So those cave paintings probably have something to do with, you know. Are these the same paintings? No, they're a little different. All right, what's this? Shapes right there. Okay, wait. That was a button. Did the other ones have buttons? Oh, oh. I move this one, it moves the center one. I move the center one, it moves the right one. Right one moves the left one. Oh. Guys. Guys, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I'm rocking it today. I don't know what it is. I don't understand what's happening, but the third one is activated now. Will this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. That's probably for the best. Are you sure? The prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you will take physical form. I'm not sure of anything. All right, let me take care of this last pyramid. Uh, we got it. Uh, super long one. Uh, you guys don't need to hear me narrate exactly what I'm doing here. Right? I can concentrate enough to just do it, I think. Cool. So what's gonna happen now, you think? Sal? Damn it! This is supposed to resurrect you! Are you okay? I... It hurts! It's another part to Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. I'm so sorry, Sal. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Ash, don't. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything that I've messed up. Ah, uh, oh, you're going vertical. No, go save them, Sally Face. How we meet again. Ash, no! What? How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? Okay, voice from the dark, get off my ass. All right, I'm trying the best I can. Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude, I uh, just got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the shit they've been through. Yeah. Hey, Larry, what's up? Do you, do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. Okay, we got a bottle on the ground. Of course Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask, honestly. Uh, his car at Lisa's nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too. Though, Larry probably won't move in until next year. 
Right, well, thank you. Neil will be excited to hear the news, and I'll be very glad to have him close by again. Alright, Todd. Frickin' nerd. Yeah, glasses. <laughs> Ugh. What's, what's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're an amazing artist, Ash, and a wonderful teacher. I'll never be as good as you, though. Sure you can. All it takes is practice and determination. But only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be good at everything you do. Some things we do just because they're fun and we like doing them. Or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right. And I have been enjoying this time together. Very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Anytime you want to paint or even just hang out, you let me know. Ashley, I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes. You were always there for me. You gave me help when I needed it most. And even when you saw the horrible things I had done, even when you couldn't believe the reason that I had to do those things, you stood by me. That means everything. The ritual requires one final step. Seize the power of the Blade of Osiris. The Blade of Osiris? Holy crap. I'm sorry, the Blade of Osiris. Are we about to go... go ham on these cultists? What's happening to me? Ash, can you hear me? Sal? Where are you? The ritual has awakened a power within my being. But I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. This power I feel. This is you? Yes. Holy shit, Sal. Yeah, tell me about it. R. Oh! Whoa. Thank you for trusting me with this. I could have obtained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some cultist ass. Oh my god. I'm I'm so here for this. Let's freaking go out of the let's stumble out of the graveyard and magic arm some dudes in the face. Sweet. Okay, now I'm guessing that the last of those little weird uh, item things is going to be in here somewhere, you know? But it's not here. Yeah, because I found five out of six. If we can't find it, no big deal. You know, we're here to have fun, not to get 100% completion in all achievements. Where is everyone? I don't know, dude. Where are they? Inner West Hall. Should we check that first? Prob they're probably in the center chamber, wouldn't you think? Hey, the C4 is still here. Yeah, we can't go that way. Okay, we'll go into the inner west hall. Doors locked. Oh, look, they got like shutters and shit. What? The center chamber is sealed shut. How are we gonna get in there? I think I can get us in. Whoa, what's going on? Okay. All right, so look at all those skulls in the wall. Are those people buried in the wall? Okay. That's the first thing, hmm. First time something's popped up. Oh. Is this claymation? This is sweet. The Devourers of God. This is like the full history. Oh my God. Back to the 17th century. Wow, the first prophecy brings a small group of natives together, a faction of the Grey tribe. Colonists arrive in Knockfell, a marriage between Sit Lolly Grey and Wesley Rosenberg, which is hell of a boring name, unites the two groups. Original temple is built. Phelps Ministry is constructed to hide the temple, used to indoctrinate followers and gain members. Another ceremonial uh, marriage between the Grey and the Phelps families. Prophecy about the child of the abomination is spoken and becomes part of their doctrine. Preparations for this execution begin. 
Is anyone else getting like Harry Potter vibes from this story? It's like a prophecy about a child who would bring about the fall of like an evil cult, basically. I wonder if the person in the dog mask is from the cult and they were trying to kill the child of the abomination. Huh. As an apartments are built, temple expanded. Terrence Addison is born. His parents made a deal with the council and the boy was blessed from birth to be the entry point of the endless one. Oh my God. The council secretly fed him human flesh. <laughs> a new prophecy says that killing the child of the abomination will bring a man from the sky who they believe is me, who will greatly help the devourer's efforts. Terence's soul is destroyed by the Endless One and his parents are murdered. The boy's appearance starts to change, so the council locked him in his room. Let's see, the first shadow is successfully summoned. And then initiation happened in 18, or, uh, 1983. The safe. I don't know it yet. Console. What? I don't get what this... Wait, how does this turn that on? Okay, so this has to be three. And then I think that's, okay, that's one. Oh, I see, so the switches and the buttons aren't necessarily related to the green light ahead of them. Or above them. Well then what's, oh no, there's two different ways. That's really confusing. Wait, is it this? Okay, this. Okay. I got lucky there. It was like trial and error. What happened? I heard something. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. But we've also got this safe? What? Oh! There's a door five! What? Oh, what? <laughs> so you can go back to doors two, three, and four if you want. Oh, I, I'm looking for that, that number five thing. I found all the rest of them, what are they for? Even if it's just an achievement, I wanna get it. Door five, let's go. I'm sorry, what? This is what they're for. This is what they're for. The different colors. Oh, you can't go back in. Oh. All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, hopefully, it has actually been about eight hours or so since that last part that you saw. And uh, in the meantime, I have discovered that my SD card got corrupted and it's just been all sorts of panic as I realized that I had to do most of the video without face cam. But we're back now. Again, hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on freaking wood. Today has been horrible. Let's go ahead and leave and just go to the chamber because apparently I can't do whatever puzzle that was. <sighs> Probably missed one of the things that you need. Let's go to the center chamber. Wow! What? Archbishop Kenneth Phelps. Dog mask guy! It's the dog mask guy that he was talking about. We've been expecting you. What? What have you done? The final dissension is upon us. On this night, mankind will triumph over God! <laughs> you killed them. And many others. We are destined to be so much more than... Shut the hell up, you psycho. I'm gonna end you. I thought you might feel that way at first. Oh no. Let's fucking go. Let's do this. Die! Oh, smashed! I smushed him! He's all smushed in the corner! Oh! Okay, he kind of snuck up on me. It's an instant kill, too. Alright. Second attempt. Kind of... 
humiliating that we had to do a second attempt, but this time I won't try to aggro them. Gotta get the timing down. Yeah, because these guys are a little faster. I guess they realize they better hurry or they'll be flattened as well. A little more strategy in their approach. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Todd! Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of this. Sal? Is that you? Wait. Is that Larry? No. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. What happened? Dude, when the treehouse burned, I was lost in the void. I spent so long there, dude, like really long. And my voice hasn't changed despite me clearly aging like a million years. I can tell, I like the beard though. <laughs> but yeah, there was this weird tree. The roots were all cosmic-y and stuff. Creatures gathered around it and worshiped it. They called it the mother tree. I'm still not really sure how, but it helped me find my way back. I think I've seen that or felt it before. You're connected to it. We all are. Larry, about Lisa. I... Dude, you don't need to say anything, I know. But I... It's okay, seriously. All their souls would have been destroyed. I'm glad your soul didn't dissolve in the void. Not yet, at least. Though, Todd was right about the whole second death thing. Souls fade into the void and become nothing. Sounds brutally final, but I didn't learn much beyond that. Do you know how we can save Todd? I think I can get him out. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. He always had a strong will. Oh, I have something for you. I found it in the void. A guitar. Live Todd to me. You need to hold back to shadows. They're starting to seep in. Am I recording? I am. Okay, be careful. You too. Let's freaking go. They're here. Oh. Hit <laughs> my ass, you right, bitch. <laughs> Terrific. Wait, I'm sorry. What's happening here? What happened to dog mask guy? Okay, so I just wait for it to go down. And then I and then I smash it, right? So you can get you can only get one hit on it, it looks like, because I tried to get two just now. And the game was like, nah, bro. Travis, I won't let you do this! Your betrayal is not surprising. You always were a disappointment. The feeling is mutual, you fucking prick! You know you can't stop this, son. What the hell? This is so epic! Travis, what does Ashley sound like? What? Uh, Ashley, get out of here. Now! It can't end like this. We have to. I have to. There's a detonate button? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay, okay, hang on. Must we? You know what? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Alright. Shit. Wait, what am I? Ooh. Okay, am I doing this right? I assume. I assume I am. <laughs> I got you, Todd. Hold on, buddy. What is this? <laughs> Steve really went ape shit with this episode, didn't he? <laughs> He was like, all right, it's time to just do everything cool that I've ever wanted to do in video games. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. This is, uh, 
Some twin stick shooter sit right there. What's okay? I gotta concentrate. Okay. So they can pass by you. Good to know. <laughs> we are everlasting. Shut up, Todd. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, what? Can I hold it down for like a charge attack or something? Damn! That's, that's an attack. Okay, all right. We gotta attack it down here. Good thing the tentacles don't move to a different position or anything. That'd be inconvenient. Wow, they're all fighting their own battles. We're floating back and forth between all three of them. What is this game, dude? This is... <laughs> it's so cool, Claymation! Okay. I gotta conjure up the evilest voice I can possibly imagine for this. <clears throat> the creator of all things decays in our bowels! Its power is surging through our veins! <laughs> I don't believe you. A broken soul, resisting what is inevitable. Yet, we are eternal and have surpassed God itself. You will soon become one with the Endless. We are the final stage of all humanity. Okay, devourer of God. Chill. I will never join you. I need some water. Oh, okay. <laughs> the devourer is just like, sure. Wait, what am I doing now? Ow! Okay. Oh. Yeah, shut your mouth. Freaking. Yeah! What are you gonna do now? I've stun locked you. Get stun locked. <laughs> What is going on? I'm sorry, was there a move I could have pulled there? Oh, okay. No. You can do it diagonal, okay. Damn, this is a little harder than I thought. We gotta use our power cord attack. This thing needs to just take a hint. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I need to pay attention there. So like, Do I have to get all of them or just avoid them? I guess I should probably try to destroy them. Yeah, because the walls were closing in. Damn! Epic! All, all three of them! Look at them go, man! The Triforce. Power, courage, and wisdom. I don't even know. Wow, it's been so long since I've given a shit about the components of the Triforce. Todd? Hey, are you okay? Larry! It's good to see you, Ash. I, uh, like the new look. When did you get so old? It's a long story. When did you get all glowy? Long story. It's over. We did it. <laughs> Where are you, Sal? Why does it feel so bad? Are you sure it's over? Seems like it, but I just... Larry, how are you still floating? Todd, you're alive. Where... what happened? I think we stopped them. I'm glad you're okay, dude. Good to have you back, Todd. 
We'll fill you in on the details later, after we get you patched up. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I just want you all to know how much you mean to me. I love you guys so much. I was lucky to know you. Glad I got to see you all again. We love you too, Larry. Are you all right? I'm sorry, I didn't have much time left. Larry? I didn't think I'd be afraid when... I just wish I had more time. What? No, where did he... He can't leave us again. We just got him back. Was that Larry? Yeah. Maybe we'll see him again someday. On the other side of oblivion. If there is such a place. My goodness, the cast of Sally Face has been <laughs> through the ringer. I got an achievement. It says the end. That's it? I feel like I missed something. I mean, they defeated the evil. So Todd and Ashley are the only ones that got to live, basically. Yeah, so like, hang on a second. Are Ashley and Sal still kind of like, they didn't like fuse together, it was just... Because they were obviously having their own fights there. Sally's on the other side of the plane, you know. Huh. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, very creative episode overall. Uh, had a great time playing it. I think... I think I, I think I wanted something... I think I wanted a bit of, like, slice of life at the end. <laughs> rather than just the immediate aftermath of the final battle, so that's why I was kind of taken aback just now. I thought, you know, that was an important scene to have, but I thought maybe there would be an, an extra scene where, you know, one year later, I don't know. But yeah, wow, it's it's hard to believe uh, it's over. How long has it been? It's been like three years since episode one came out. That is really insane to think about. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm glad I played it. Cool game. I'm not sure I understand all the ins and outs of everything. Like, what happened to Travis? I guess he... He killed... He killed Archbishop uh, Phelps and, like, fell down the hole with him. But I thought there was going to be, like, a continuing thing there. But I guess it was sort of like a... You know... The Emperor falls to his death. <laughs> type of thing. I guess they both died. They both fell into the darkness. Uh, what happened to Sally's face? We never got to see Sally's face. That's probably okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm upset that I didn't get to see what was behind door five. I think I missed one of those little secret things with the dots on them. Those uh, hexagons, are they? Six sides? So, yeah, that's just too bad. I think I missed some of the secrets, but... You know, still had a good time playing. You don't have to 100% everything to to get uh, a decent read on things. So I'm I'm satisfied with everything, and uh, you know this this ends an era, not only for Sally Face, but also on my channel. Because now people can't keep asking me when the next episode is because there's not going to be one. Deal with it. I kind of wish there was another episode, though. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about uh, Sally Face Episode 5, the conclusion, in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And critically. <laughs>